Is he right? Is it too late to apologize? Is it ever too late to apologize? According to Senator Vincent Shaheen, the answer is no. Uh, Senator Shaheen, who was Governor Haley's opponent in the last election and most likely her opponent in the one coming up in 2014, introduced resolution on the first day the legislature got back in office to apologize to the South Carolina citizens for the security breach in the online identity. And he said, my parents taught me that when you do something wrong or your company or something you're associated with does something wrong, you need to admit it and apologize because that's the only way to get that confidence restored. And apparently it's gonna be up to the Senate and the House to apologize for, the, for South Carolina's government, which was a polite slap at Governor Haley, who in all of the discussion she's had about the security breach has never said, I'm sorry, we're sorry, the government's sorry. She said we could have done better. Of course, that was after she said we couldn't do anything else. But anyway, she hasn't apologized. But it was a political slap, obviously. And the governor's office responded by saying it was a political ploy, but one that they have no problem with, given as long as the senator will apologize for his 10 plus years in the Senate, uh, in the State House, and never once discussing online security. And of course, it all became a thing. The uh, the, the Democrats tried to push it as get that resolution through, but the uh, Senate Majority Leader Harvey Peeler stopped it, and then later on Senator Hugh Leatherman fought it. So what we had was an apology that was really a political game between two different sides, and particularly two opponents getting ready for an election that's two years away. And what does that do for us? What does it say that the first day that the legislature gets back in office, that the first thing they do, or one of the first things they do, is play politics with a fake apology. Look, let me make a couple points. First, I don't believe it. You're not sincere. Because you, to apologize, you have to say, we did something wrong. Meaning, Senator uh, Shaheen, did you do something wrong? Now, he's not saying that. He's saying the state particularly that lady up there that's in the other, you know, is over in that governor's mansion, her administration. So this is what our what our, our state legislature is. It's become, our state government is a political thing the first day. But let me make a point directly to Senator Shaheen. And look, I voted for Senator Shaheen for governor. Senator, my confidence is not restored by you or the governor or the head of any of these agencies saying, I'm sorry, we did a bad thing. We didn't protect you well enough. What I want is cybersecurity beefed up so that we don't have this loss of identity or, or even maybe a, uh, another agency getting hacked and their main page being messed up. Oh, wait, that, that already happened, right? The Department of Employment and Works had their main page defaced after we were told we were having more cyber security. Here's a hint. Instead of wasting time on an apology that's not really an apology, how about taking the effort to secure our online presence from the government? My information that I have to give you, could that be secured, please? And while you're at it, rather than resolutions that don't really do anything, how about legislation that fixes ethics reform, where incumbents and challengers are on the same level playing field when it comes to filing paperwork, perhaps? How about education reform? And while you're at it, could you please stop some of this nonsense about nullifying things? Um, we elected you to do a job, and you're not doing it. Uh, Department of Administration needs to go through. I could go down a list of things. So here's my recommendation. Politics aside, go to work. And to all the viewers out there, call 
email, write your representative and your senator in Colombia and say, thanks for trying to apologize. Please do your job and follow closely what they're doing. All right, this has been Eric from Another Voice. You can hear us on Mondays, 1 to 2 p.m. on Spin FM 103.3 in Greenville, Greer, and Spartanburg. Or you can go to our iTunes podcast, Another Voice with Jason and Eric. Or go to canigetawordin.com where you'll see all kinds of content from us. Until next time, have a great evening.